Welcome. Right, today I'm going to be performing surgery on the mister. Turning it from this into this. I'll also take you through the assembly process. So if you've never done this before, this will be a really good way to find out how. I'm ready. Let's go. Okie dokie. Right, first things first, we've got this package here. This is from Nat at Mr. FPGA. I'll leave details in the description. They very kindly sent this to me after I saw one on Twitter and declared how good it was. And they said, oh man, I saw your video. If you've not seen that, have a look. So they sent me this case, which I will open up. I don't have a scalpel. I'm not a very good surgeon. Hang on. All right, this will do. Ah, oh, a whole bunch of fixings. Ah, oh, lovely, yeah. I went for a smoke gray case. Holy sh would you look at that? Not only did they send me a case, they put my logo on it. That is a surprise. Thank you so much. That looks great. That looks so good. Very, very nicely wrapped. First things first, I suppose you ought to get into this. So my case is a 3D printed case that was supplied with the Mr. System. I bought it um, from a third party. Um, it's been great, but I saw this one online and it just looked phenomenal. So let's get this bad boy open. Be careful, there we go. All right, so here we can see we've got the three parts to the mister. This is the core of it, the DE10 Nano. And you can see here there's the optional uh, RAM installed. So that's 128 megabytes of SD RAM. So if you need to do that, that just pushes into the uh, the pins there on the, on the board. Uh, here we've got the I.O. module. So this contains um, a VGA out, VGA RGB output. So that's in addition to the HDMI, which is on the DE10 Nano. We've also got a 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack, uh, another USB port, um, an Octua fan installed on this one, but you can install any other uh, compatible fan there. Um, and it's a great little addition especially if you want the, the RGB output. We've also got a bunch of switches here, three switches, reset, display and user. Pretty cool. Uh, and here we have an additional uh, USB hub. Just saves you having a bunch of dongles hanging off your unit. Yeah, this is a powered hub. So the power socket is, is right there. And you can see you, you just plug the, the barrel plug into, into that and that will power all of these USB sockets. So here we go. Let's put this bad boy together. All right, so I'm gonna go from the bottom up and we'll start with the, the base plate here. So get the bottom plate, screw in there, get these small standoffs, and we'll just do them finger tight on there for now. Go the board. And what we'll do now is we'll add a second set of standoffs in now. Just screw those in there and that marries up this board with the base plate. We need to provide a connection between the uh, USB hub and the DE10 nanos, which is what this comes in. So that goes on there. So there's four pins. Go on there. And then the DE10 just slots in like, like that. Just there. So then all we need to do is add four more standoffs. So we need to marry up pins there, and then there's a header there. So you just have to very carefully make sure that's aligned. Once you're confident, it should just push together like so. So on the acrylic panels, just look for the writing, make sure it's the right way up. Make sure that the uh, IO matches the cutouts that you've got there. Pop that in there. You grab an end panel again, writing, make sure the print is the right way around. The other end, writing is the right way around, the right way up. Last one, perfect. Okay, we've got these three buttons as well. So I'm just going to use a piece of masking tape on the front there to hold the buttons in position while I place it on top of the case. Just make sure they're stuck down, flip it over. Line it up, move the masking tape. There we have it. 
Now the final thing to do is grab the little black screws and we'll get those screwed in on the top there. And there we have it. Final touch, little rubber feet. How good that looks. Your little rubber feet. And I'm just gonna put mine right on the corner radius there. And I'll do that on each corner. Perfect. Wowza, that looks so good. There you have it. I've changed the case on my mister. I think it looks absolutely amazing. It looks well good, couldn't be happier. And hopefully uh, if you needed to, or if you were curious, you know now how to assemble one. And um, there really isn't much to it. Uh, Sorg and the team have done a great job with designing this thing. For the case and any accessories, I can highly recommend mrfpga.co.uk. They supplied the case here, and they also, um, I found out they, they actually manufactured the boards inside it as well. So can't recommend them enough. Hopefully this has helped you out. If it has, do the usual, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll make some more videos on the Mister. It's, it's a really fun, fun little machine to have a mess around with. I, I think I'm gonna have a look at um, installing some old PC operating systems, Windows 95, 98, 3.1 even. Um, see how that goes, see what we can run on them. I've got a feeling I'll have a good time running Winamp on 95 and 98. So uh, let's have a look at that at some point. Yeah, I mean, I, I do other stuff on the channel, not just Mr. Things. So if you're into old games, old technology, old computers, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll find something you like. Yeah, well pleased with that. Looks so good, so good. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, pictures and video do not do it justice. It looks so, so good in person. So yeah, if you're on the fence, don't be on the fence. Be off the fence and get a case or any other bits you might need for your mister. Yeah, I understand this week that um, some of the D10 nanos are, have become a little bit more widely available. So if you're considering a mister at all, I'd say go for it. Take the plunge, YOLO and all that. All right, I'm done. Mm -hmm.